The rivers gave rise to the maritime, commercial and fishing lifestyle of this town, and the hill, up here on the top, took on the role of being the location for sacred things. It's true that the Iglesia Matriz was down there, in the current Praça of Chandel Culano, but this place has always been connected to Our Lady of the Martyrs. Formerly, there was a small chapel here, which was visited by people who had come from afar, because the statue it contained was considered to be miraculous. Nevertheless, in the mid-16th century, this chapel was so deteriorated and small, that it was thought necessary to build a larger temple. It was built in a different place, not very far from its previous location. This was the beginning of what was to become the church we have today, the current mother church and the town's hallmark. The chapel dedicated to Nossa Senhora de Boa Viaje, Our Lady of Safe Journeys, was built between 1788 and 1792 by the initiative of the sailors of the town. It deserves particular attention. Her statue had been in another chapel, on its own altar, but it had become ruined. Since the sailors wanted to give their protector a fitting altar, where they could place her statue and honor her, they requested permission to place it here, on the fine altar where it may be found today. The people of Constancia are highly devoted to Nossa Senhora de Boa Viaje. The celebrations in her honor are the living proof of past times when the town was an important fluvial traffic center. It is undoubtedly one of the main aspects of the town's heritage, which still carries the same symbolism even though it has undergone changes resulting from new, more modern realities. Formerly, the sellers organized the celebrations themselves along with friends and shipmates who gathered in Constancia for a whole week to celebrate the Easter mystery and to honor their patron saint. Nowadays, the celebrations are organized by the municipality, which with the support of the local community and collaboration of the existing associations, brings to us the collective memory of a way of life that has marked this town forever. Every year, the Senhora de Boa Viagem goes down to the rivers in a procession on Easter Monday to meet the boats and vehicles. There are several becomingly decorated boats that gather along the banks of the Tegas and Zezere, awaiting the blessing of Our Lady. A past life is experienced and relived in the rivers, spattered with color. This is a scene that should not be missed. In addition to these religious ceremonies and the blessing of the vehicles and boats, there are various other exhibitions and shows, such as the Grand Premio de Atletismo, the Athletics Race, the traditional Tashkinias, which are taverns serving food and drink. Here the town's gastronomic specialties can be tasted. There is also the Mostra de Erzanap, the handicraft exhibition, and the district's economic activities. These are sufficient reasons to justify a visit to the town during this period. In the early 19th century, the French arrived in the town, causing enormous damage, still evident today, and taking possession of valuables from homes, churches and chapels, which they profaned and used for a number of different functions. For example, we can see the traces of a fire that they set to various parts of the church. The French were also the ones who completely ruined the old St. Julian Mother Church, which was where the square is today. Thus, it was the Igreja de Misericordia that provisionally acted as the Mother Church. However, it was too small to accommodate the people, and King Juan VI ended up ordering the Igreja de Nossa Senhora dos Martyrs to take on the role. It has remained here until now. Important structural work was carried out between 1897 and 1899. The roof was restored and the ceiling enriched at the hands of Malhoa, with a magnificent painting depicting the Assumption of Our Lady in view of Constancia. In this painting, we may find two human figures who are symbols of the rivers and who meet at the foot of the town praising the Virgin Mary, an old man with a long white beard representing the important and imposing river Tagus, and a vigorous youth portraying the smaller and more impulsive current of the Zezere at the time. The angels surrounding the Virgin have a caption where you may read Villa Nova de Constancia, New Town of Constancia. This was the mistake of the master or, or of the person who informed him, since the correct term is Notável Villa de Constancia, Notable Town of Constancia. It is said that the painter Malhoa took inspiration from the face of a French engineer's wife. The former was working on the construction of the new railway bridge over the Tagus to paint the image of Our Lady, and also from the people in town for some of the allegorical figures 
namely the curly-haired angels. The three recitals from the St. Anne Chapel are worth mentioning, as is the picture of the Lady of Conception from the early 19th century by Domingos Siqueira. The pictures of the Baptism and Last Supper are equally important, as is a St. Francis in ecstasy from the 16th and 17th centuries, which is thought to be of Spanish origin. There is also a female stone statue that has not yet been identified, but is known to be from the 14th to 15th centuries. This church is impressive not only because of the beauty of its marble, but also due to the grandeur of its interior.